How do you feel when you're watching that clip and seeing that again? I think the same as the audience, really. I think we all had the same reaction. Um, it makes my heart race. Um, when I actually saw, because I didn't see the comments myself, somebody told me about them, and I felt like I wanted to cry, kind of... Um, I felt, like, really claustrophobic because it brings back so many memories because she is so wrong. <laughs> And it's really damaging mm. and really dangerous. And I know everybody's entitled to their, their opinion, but that's factually incorrect. So give an informed opinion, and that is not one, because that's um, not what rape is. You, you weren't actually raped, but no. you were abused. Yeah, so, again, you made a great point, because sexual abuse comes in many forms. So I think people just say rape, but... Um, I mean, it's so common in children, it's awful. Like, in the UK, one in 20 children are sexually abused. Sexual abuse can mean um, touching, um, molestering. Um, it can also mean forced to watch, forced to do a sexual act. Um, and imagine how damaging that is to your brain. And, and when she says that it's just, just lazy or, you know, it doesn't affect you, it may, makes me think of, well, I mean, how much it affected me well, and all happened, the victims. What happened to you and how old were you? Um, I was groomed for about three years, so again, it's really important to understand what sexual abuse is because it's, you know, she mentioned about violence. Well, violence isn't just physical because violence can come in emotional control, manipulation, and that is actually more powerful than me grabbing mm. you th here because mm. you can get off me, so but not if a, I manipulate you. Yeah. A sports so that was coat. The was it your sports coat? Yeah, it was. And yeah. again, How old was you when that started? Well, gosh, I met him when I was about 11 and trained with him, but I wasn't um, abused until I was 15 years old. So that's how long it took for him to get so my trust. So he built that trust with yeah, you. Yeah, and then... that's the most common form, and that's what sexual abuse tends to be. It isn't just, oh, roll over, you know, like she was making a joke out so... of it. And it was from 15 right up until I was about 17 or 18 years and you old. Didn't, you didn't and it was tell many, any... many times. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No, no, I didn't tell anyone. No. And so again, her making it's... comments like that, does that bring back almost the feeling of... Do you think that's why people don't tell people? Because is. they feel like people won't believe them or they'll go, get over it, it's fine, he didn't actually do it, you know? Yeah, and that, again, what is dangerous. what the perpetrator does. Yeah. So the perpetrator, the reason why, isn't just people like Jermaine Greer. It's also that's what the perpetrator does. The perpetrator goes along with what society believes and that's why, that's why I'm sat here and that's why... I mean, I'm going into number 10 on Wednesday morning. I'm not just somebody who's sat here talking about or tweeting um, to talk to the advise, uh, to number 10 advisors, to Theresa May, uh, about policy at the moment and about the justice system um, and about improving it for victims and, just like you mm. said, for them to come forward. You know, it takes over seven years for a victim to go and access any service after they've been abused. That's not a coincidence, and it's linked in to, uh, to society's attitude, our, our attitude, because if you think about it, we're all, you know, everybody, I think, in this audience or watching, sometimes we all go to people's attitudes or judgments or peer pressure, you know, on maybe smaller things, that's not sexual abuse. Mm. So Sorry, imagine can, how it feels. So can I just ask you on that? Because I didn't see the Jermaine, the whole yeah. interview. I've just seen that one clip. Um, and she's obviously written a book, hasn't she, called On Rape? So she's mm. done a big, sort of much bigger argument. But is she sort of saying... So, for example, in court, there are different degrees of murder, aren't there? It's murder, you know, in, in cold blood or manslaughter or whatever. It, what, is what she's saying um, that rape should be graded in terms of how it's dealt so that uh, a man having sex with his wife within a marriage when she's not really interested shouldn't be put on the same page legally as somebody dragging someone down an alleyway Can I, late at mind, night. Do you mind if I just... No, I'm just saying, is, yeah. that, what is, she, is well, that what she's saying? Well, it's really interesting you brought that point up because you know what it takes to even get it to the CPS, to even get into court? There is no way it's even going to go to the CPS to even get into court if it's somebody who's gone, no, I'm not interested. So, so that's, that's the answer, basically. It's not even going to... So you're saying so you, you have to be physically attacked... In order for that to... No, what I'm saying is it's, it's, it's very, very hard for the CPS to prove and for it to go to court. So my point is it's not going to go to court if it's... That's not what rape is, but somebody who says, I'm not... Oh, well, I'm not bothered now. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and that's what I mean. It's, it's so... It's made it kind of... The one thing she did nothing. say also was about the PTSD thing, which I 
I just thought, I don't, I don't really know where she's coming from on that because she said, oh, there's no injury. Well, there is injury because it's a hidden injury. It's inside your head. And, and You've again, been violated. Yeah, and again, that's going on to the old stigma and attitude about mental health. You know, it, sexual abuse is linked to mental health. It's so common after you've had, you know, sexual abuse, whether that comes in molestation, in rape, you know, all the different forms of sexual abuse, which is important to um, highlight. It can lead to so much trauma. It's so linked to, to suicide. Um, you, that's you, why it's damaging. You so, yeah, to yeah. self-harm. Like, I know another... A victim, and by the way, both men and women, again, it's really important to yeah. highlight, you know, 2018, and we're still doing this whole men versus women thing, which mm. I don't agree with, because men can get raped. I mean, we mm. saw the footballers, Andy Woodward, Chris Unsworth, they yeah. were broken Charlie, men. Charlie, I'm so sorry, I do, men. I have to hit the break at a certain time here, but you mentioned <laughs> there you're going to, to Parliament uh, and to talk to Theresa May, so come back and, yeah. and talk to us again. Oh, thank you. And where that goes, because it is such a big subject, mm. as you said, but yeah. today, for today, thank you very much, Charlie Webster, everybody.